Hi there foodies, let's get started on this delicious mahi-mahi in coconut sauce. All you need to do is clean the fish and then pat dry well. When it comes to seasoning, work with what's in your cupboard, okay? As long as it's not something overpowering. But I suggest you could use fish or all-purpose seasoning, some paprika, cayenne, onion powder, garlic powder, and some seasoned salt and pepper, or regular salt and pepper. Now, everybody's pantry and cupboard, you know, might have different things. So if all you have is all-purpose seasoning, then you could even use that. Just try not to use anything that's too overpowering, like jerk or, you know, Creole seasoning. So just season all over. Now you want to put some oil in a cast iron pan or in a non-stick pan over medium high heat. And we're going to cook the fillets for about three and a half to four and a half minutes on each side. So it really depends on how thick the fillet is. You can use a cooking oil of your choice. You could even use less oil if you prefer. You could actually grill the fish if you prefer, okay? Then add some butter to the pan and we are gonna be cooking up some onion and garlic. The inspiration behind this dish is, you know, the Tuscan type of sauce where it would be a cream or milk with some Parmesan. But this time I am doing coconut cream. You can use coconut milk. Just try to find one that's not light. You want that full fat coconut milk or cream. And if it's not thick enough, you can always add a slurry to thicken it up if you need to. When it comes to seasoning this, you want to add all those seasonings that you put on the fish. Just do it to taste. So add a little bit, taste it. Allow the coconut cream or milk to simmer. So you can add the sun-dried tomatoes, then the spinach, and once the spinach leaves are wilted, that's it. You are good to go. Now I just garnish with some parsley or basil and lemon slices. And when I'm eating this, I like to squeeze some fresh lemon all over. This dish is very easy to prepare and I'd love to hear what you guys think once you try the recipe. So come back and let me know how you like it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.